Babs is back. What's going on guys, Babs here. We are going to make a video and this one is for Doug. And Doug wanted to know what these cups represent right here. He says, I haven't made a video uh, going over what the cups represent. So I know there's some people that have been kind of confused about what the cups mean and all that good stuff. So let's put ourselves in a position to go over what this means. And that way we can get an idea of what everybody needs to see. And that way you can make your own informed decisions about how you're trying to aim and how to get better at putting. So here we go. All right, so here we are on pebble number one. And we've got a nine foot putt up, we'll call it one inch. So we'll bring out the spreadsheet here and we just want to go over what this section right here means. Uh, Doug on YouTube asked, what do the cups represent? And so what the cups represent is how many cups it takes to get to the prospective grid markers. So that's half a grid right there, which is 10 in JC Sneed, also known as 50%, because it is 50% of a whole grid. So I myself, if you see my cursor right here, the circle, I've made it to the same size as a cup. Why is that? That way it helps me measure a little better when I am trying to figure out a percentage. Conversely, you can use the shaded area under the aimer. What I mean by that is, is this, this guy right here, this little shaded area, you can use that. Now you have to be careful. There are courses where this circle, little shaded circle, is either smaller or bigger. So you're gonna have to be careful with how you're measuring, but let's just go with this real quick in relation to this. So as you can see, four cups is 50%. And let's confirm that. So we got one whole cup to the edge, another cup, that's three, and that's four. So four of these shaded areas get me to half a grid. That's how I know that four cups equals 50%. Then I just divide that by four, and I know what one cup is. So that's 12.5%. So if I'm going to do a calculation, let's just say I'm gonna do this calculation nine, up one, real quick light. Got that, bam, nine, up one. Let's actually make this slide over. And boom. So we're looking at about 30% on a 30 scale and now we want to know how fast these dots are moving. So I wanna know what are these dots doing right here in this grid section? So I'll swing one, two, three, and I'll start it. And I'll let them go by, boom, 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 and stop. So I get 3.7 seconds on the dots. So let's type in 3.7. Now I get a percentage, sorry, an aim of 13.3. That's JC Sneed. So what correlates to 13.3? Well, 13 is greater than 10, which is 50%, but it's less than 15, which is 100. So we're looking at roughly 68% or 80%. So if that's 50%, and then we'll look at the cups. One more cup is 62 and a half. So that's 62 and a half. The next cup is 75. So let's say what would be that percentage? You know, that could be right in this area. at 68%. Looking at this line, it looks like a pretty good line. We could check the 80% if we wanted to. So we go 50, what's close to 80? Just over six cups. So we've got five, six and a touch over we look at that line and i'll say ah you know that might be a little high so i'm going to personally choose 68 percent so that's 62 and half a cup is six so that would be 68 right there and that's how you use the cups to kind of confirm where your percentages are in terms of where you want to aim and then i'm looking to hit this at 30 percent so i'm going to nick this out of the way we got 30 percent on the 30 scale with the misting, bam. So right in the hole. And so that's just kind of how you, you break down this situation right here in terms of how to correlate the percentages 
in relation to how many cups they are with what your aim number is going to be. And so at the end of the day, you need to go out on a course and figure out, you know, how many cups does it take for you to move your shaded area to get to 50% and then divide and find out how many cups is one. And then use that as a guide to help you make better decisions when you're choosing your aim percentages. So thank you, Doug, for that question. Great question. I hope you guys uh, found this to be a little more helpful and uh, getting those results that you want. So I'll see you guys soon. Babs out.